start off with some colors that you guys might already have in your closet and then progressively get more colorful as we go. So starting with black, I thought I would add this pleated thrifted skirt that I got recently just to add a bunch of texture to the outfit because I feel like when you're going monochrome, you want to have a bunch of different textures to make each section of the outfit kind of stand out a little bit more. So I've also got two vests on. One is kind of a crochet vest and one is velvet, as well as a bikini top. And I just love all the textures here. Now I know this isn't exactly full monochrome, but we're using black as the base color for this one. And I love the mix of the different patterns where we have the Dizzy floral pattern against the yin yang pattern, because you know I love yin yang. And I've even got yin yang socks with this one as well. And I think it's cool when you're doing monochrome looks. It's always good to think about all the kind of patterns that you have in your wardrobe that may fall into the color that you're going for. See, I told you, yin yang socks. It's all about the small details here and a lot of mixing and matching of the same color. Next up, we're going brown. And this has only been a color on my radar as of recently. I've never really owned anything brown, but I did get this brown corduroy dress recently. And also, wait, this whole outfit's thrifted? Oh, I love that. But it gives me like major earth tone vibes. It's super easy to wear and yeah, not as aggressive as black. Now we go the nude kind of beige color scheme or what would you guys call this color? Um, basically this gingham print is now my neutral. I literally wear it with everything. I even pattern clash it a lot. But for this one I'm actually wearing a dress and a top. They just happen to be the same fabric and it's very 2019 best dress picnic bitch era. I have these beige Doc Martens as well as a beige jumper to add on top just in case it's too cold and I just love this color scheme. It's very laid back. I think it looks good on like most skin tones but for some reason I always typically go for brighter colors which we'll get to soon but first we're going white. We're going the brightest we can possibly go and I just paired this white turtleneck underneath this very comfortable like cheesecloth material dress. And I thought it needed a bit of jazzing up, so I did end up adding this crochet vest to add a little bit of color and spice, as well as my white Doc Martens to keep with the white mono theme. For this one, I thought that the colors of my top and my pants just matched so perfectly that I had to do this outfit. I know it's quite colorful for a mono fit, but the base color is white. So does that count? Like, let me know if <laughs> this counts as a mono fit, but I do really enjoy that everything kind of flows together quite nicely. And I've added my Doc Martin Jadens at the bottom to kind of grunge it up a little bit. As you can see, creating pale outfits is pretty easy because it is a color that we tend to have in our wardrobe a lot more. And we got a lot of textures going on here. We got the checkerboard pants, as well as the cardigan, which has this nice soft, cozy texture and then the top is like an elevated basic white tank but the straps are going to the side now we're approaching colorful territory we have a yellow to start us off i'm wearing this yellow dress and sometimes it feels like dresses you can't really change up too much but for this one i did add this little vest top to add some texture add something different so i'm not just wearing this dress the same old same old and i actually got it from depop so i didn't have to pay for postage but i actually think it's really cute but you could also add like something like a jumper on top if it's coming into winter like it is here for me in Australia and that is how you can transition some of your summer pieces to winter. But if you are coming into summer, just wear the dress, add some cute docks and you're good to go. So I don't have many orange pieces so I kind of merged together the same tones. We got the like chocolatey brown with orange and they kind of all go together to this warm, yummy, delicious. <laughs> Why are we talking about food and my hungry um, outfit? Now I also have these really cute socks and I just want to show you how perfectly the colors go together with these sandals. But yeah, I love wearing bright colors like this. It makes you feel warm. It makes you feel like dancing, I guess. Um, I think I just had a good playlist when I was making this video. 
Now onto red and I do think I have done something similar before in other videos so I tried to change it up a little bit by adding this red top on top as well as some red Doc Martens to complete the full red look and I think it's super cute that you can add a little top to a dress to turn it into a skirt. Now look, I do keep items in my wardrobe for a long time. I just wanted to show anyone new here that you could wear some cute overalls like this, but I know everyone who's been around a while will have seen these before, so that's it. Next we have pink and I've paired these pants with a few items that have like a burgundy kind of tone to them to kind of keep with pink tones. And I think having colorful jeans is such a wearable option when it comes to trying out different colors because Although they are a little bit out there, it is something that everyone has in their wardrobe. Everyone has a pair of denim jeans. It just happens to be not blue denim, just pink denim. So the combo of pink and purple was like my favorite colors growing up. I loved the two together, but I haven't actually put it on my body in such a long time. So I thought I'd put this outfit together. I do actually have like a pink corduroy jacket that matches these pants, but I thought I would wear something different today. And then I kind of found this t-shirt, which I realized would have looked really cool with the outfit to make it even more purple. So I added that. It is a Flintstones tee. Go ahead and let me know your favorite Flintstone. I like pebbles. That girl has major hair goals. We love the ginger locks. So you've now officially seen every purple item that I own in my wardrobe. I've only got these three things. This crochet top, yin yang pants, and I went for just a basic plain white tee underneath to go with the white background in the pants. And I really like how this one ended up turning out. It's very cool. Next is blue, and this is something you could probably put together with things you already own in your wardrobe because we're going with denim. We got a denim shirt and denim jeans to kind of have a makeshift like jumpsuit look. They are the same color and the same tone, so hopefully it kind of blends together and it kind of looks like workwear with style. It's super comfy and super wearable. I've added this blue dolphin hat as well, if it actually fit my head, but I got buns on today. So no hat options are available to fit my big noggin. And here's an idea of what I was listening to at the time. Baby blue is definitely a color that I've seen a lot lately. A lot of people are loving these tones and I would wear this cute crochet bandana if it actually fit my head. Again, we're going with crochet. I guess I have a lot of crochet pieces. We've got these swirly pattern jeans and some blue bands just to change up the feet options instead of just wearing docks like I always do. I feel like this colorway looks so cute in baby doll style dresses because it's just such a like bubbles from Powerpuff Girls kind of color and you just expect it to be in dress form. And to make it even more monochrome, I've added this blue cardigan to add a bit of a pattern clash with these flowers and gingham combo. Now we're heading into Shrek territory, something I love so much. I love green. We've got <laughs> more gingham, this green gingham dress with a green turtleneck underneath because I feel like to make a monochrome outfit, I do need multiple pieces or else I feel like I'm cheating. So yeah, I've got that as well as some green socks. And you can probably tell I love green because this isn't even the last green look that I'm doing. I always find it so cool when you get patterned pants and you can match one of the colors in the pants with a top. So I've gone with this green top here to accessorize, <laughs> if that's a word, the green. And lastly, I've got this two-toned green option. We got the darker forest green with the brighter, what is this kind of green? Like lime green with this yin yang swimsuit. I told you I'm obsessed with yin yang and gingham, which we have in the button up. Oh my gosh, I have a problem, but I hope you like this look. Alrighty guys, um, as you can maybe tell, it's raining outside if you can hear that, but if you can hear me, hello. Thanks so much for watching. It took ages to try on all those outfits. So if you made it this far, let me know. I like cats or something in the comments. But anyways, my name has been Jen. 
my Instagram's at Nwandias. And until next time, keep wandering and keep experimenting with your different outfits.